Hello there, lovely people. Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Hopefully, you're all doing good. Today, uh, it's very hot and humid in Bangladesh. Uh, officially, they gave announcement that you shouldn't go out in the, during the daytime because the heat is very, very risky for human health. So, if you happen to be in Bangladesh, please uh, stay safe and stay indoors. I already said in my group. So, I am, I turned 42 today. So, I know you're going to be wishing me and all that. But yeah, I, it's, it's just another day, another you know step towards uh, you know final destination so it's still pretty nice uh, so today i'll be doing few reviews and i'll be staying indoors at home mostly and i don't know i don't have much plan last night i caught a movie uh that was okay evil dead rise or something like that yeah it's not as good so uh i actually uh, have two fragrances from my brother uh brother obik obik bhai gave me this bottle uh last time i forgot actually i reviewed this but i want to review no problem porsche design titan and there's a new fragrance called Lo de Sepurum, I think by Kevin Lugbert or Lugbert. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's a summer edition, 2022. And time here officially, it's <clears throat> nearing towards, you can say, uh, 1 p.m. And very sunny, very, very hot. So let's see what you get. Two fragrances in one video. I pre-spread them on the paper. And let's see what you get. I have actually one new information to give about this one, okay? Anyway, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. And one other thing, the some of you uh, told me that yesterday or day before yesterday, I did the review on this one by Mason Alhambra called Ya Parfum. And I did say I did not find very similar to YSL YDP. And some of you already told me that this is not supposedly a clone of YSL YDP, but it's more the perfume version. Yeah, I can see some similarities. So, yes, in that way, uh, sometimes I'm not perfect. <laughs> of course, I make mistakes. So, yeah, that is thank you so much to all of you guys for heads up. So, let's see what you get. So Porsche Design, I already did three uh, in my channel, and this was one of them, Titan. I think I also, also did the blue bottle, and there's one Summer Ice Edition. I did them both. So this underrated car company manufacturing house, let's talk about this. This is similar to one Kenzo fragrance that I recently purchased a few months back. So I have shown this in, uh, once again, uh, irony is I have done two Porsche fragrances, and this was one of them in the same video. This is a 50 ml bottle, and uh, it looks like this box. It reminds me of Mont Blanc individual box and there's a picture of the bottle at the back very neat presentation and uh, if you open it it's like bottle stays in there okay it's not a very heavy presentation but good and the bottle it's very light it almost feels like paper okay uh, I mean this is all plastic bottle not very big fan of plastics uh, but it does its job atomizer is built in name is there Porsche design let me spray this some more I already have it on the paper a sprayer is okay so last time I reviewed it, I don't remember what I said, but <clears throat> this is a long, like a uh, old fragrance in the community. It's I think somewhere in 2012 or something like that. So when I smelled it in recent meetup, I was very impressed, like how beautifully it opens. And it has this kind of quality of mint, grapefruit, pepper, uh, kind of like a, something fresh, green, um, like a woody kind of fragrance. But mostly the opening, I get kind of like this uh, strong, minty, um, fresh very beautiful mouth watering sort of a bubble gummy almost kind of a mint mixed with that almost that tangerine orange and grapefruit kind of a smell very fresh opening very energetic if you're feeling a little bit dizzy and sleepy like right now i'm feeling it will wake you up it will wake up your senses so nice little fragrance you know many people seem to like it the opening especially like people like it or it's very masculine fresh opening for summer so when you see the bottle uh, so far the porsche ones that i reviewed i haven't reviewed anything dark so when I see Porsche's uh, fresh fragrance, it reminds me kind of like Ferrari fragrances. And uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes Bentley's freshies, but this one is very interesting. And I think this one has quite a lot of character. You can definitely look into this. It's not very super expensive. I think maybe 50 ml like this goes for 25 to 35 bucks. It's not very cheap, but if you want to get something different, you know, you want to collect some other fragrance company and stuff, uh, you can try this. But the main reason why I'm trying to do this this fragrance is very uh, uplifting, but you can find a fragrance. If you can find, get that one. That one has better performance than this. This one lasts, okay, three to four hours on me in our condition. Foreign lens, it may uh, last about somewhat, like some people say seven, eight hours. Yeah, it's possible. I'm not surprised at all. You know, if you live in a good country, no pollution, uh, it stays cool, more or less holier, you'll get those kind of performance. But in our country, no, it will not last like a whole day. So I'll tell you one thing. This is the fragrance I want to compare it to. I bought it like a few months back. Kenzo Home uh, Woody EDT. Actually, this is called Kenzo Home uh, Boise. Okay, EDT. 
so this one has a beautiful bamboo looking box but this is the bottle i'm very fortunate i collected this fragrance and that's what this fragrance reminds me of and on fragrantica they do also agree they say they're similar so this basically is a very long lasting fragrance seven to eight hours this from this you'll get this one you'll get three to four but if you can have the kenzo uh, you don't need this okay so they're very similar but if you fi cannot find this kenzo the um, boise one is a bit hard to find since it's discontinuation so if you actually happen to be a fan of kenzo you cannot find that you can try porsche design titan if it's still available so that's the fragrance i really like it i'll give it over a score of eight i don't remember how much i gave it last time so the next one let's focus a little bit more on this one <clears throat> isimiyake isimiyake is a house that i really like i would not say love because i love some of the fragrances but mostly it's noir ambre uh, isimiyake noir ambre is my love and then some of the darker ones the fresh ones they're good some of them are really solid like the sport one original some of the summer flankers they're good limited time release but uh, sometimes isimiyake can be very predictable with their yuzu citrus this kind of like a kiwi they play with the similar sort of notes this one is a fragrance i saw uh, recent times in one of the retail outlets but i did not buy it for one reason i'll tell you what it is as i review so this one again thanks to avikbhai for your bottle he wore a lot of it it's like a whole chunk missing this is 125 mil it's not a small bottle and he has a big collection so for him to wear this much that means he really likes it so this fragrance has this nice box and i told you i do not know how to pronounce this name because i haven't seen any reviews uh, just say Kevin uh, Lippert. <laughs> I could be really wrong. So this is called Lourdes Purum, and it's a summer fresh edition. I think the whole name is. Wait, on Fragrantica it says Lourdes Purum summer edition by Kevin Lippert. Isimiake for men, <clears throat> and this is a 2022 release. Um, the nose breakdown. Let me tell you, then I'll show you the presentation. Watery notes, lemon, bergamot. I told you the citruses they're famous for. Eucalyptus, jasmine, basil. Uh, cypress pine balsam fir and cedar so the interesting thing is the base a lot of greenness and medicinal vibes going on and we'll see if it actually performs or if it delivers okay <clears throat> so sorry give me one quick second yeah sorry um, once in a while i have to uh, clear out my throat uh, i've been having this problem for some time but a lot of people are messaging wishing me so the message is popping up hopefully you don't have to hear that so here is the box really nice summary box kind of white and then nice artwork i really like these they have some nice designs and bottles i must give it to them you see me i have some beautiful bottle designs okay you can see beautiful it's like greenness water you know at the back some trees it looks beautiful watery aquatic sort of vibe really nice reminds me of uh, unjarden line by hermes they have this kind of presentation as well bottle is gorgeous guys bottle is beautiful i love this transparent caps looks amazing and it has this writing really nice font and all that transparent bottle looks really beautiful i must tell you it's a beautiful bottle and when you open it atomizer is blue uh let me actually not waste the juice just like that i will spray it on the paper i worry that day the meetup day we had uh last month or so during eid um we actually brought this fragrance okay prayers are good i just sprayed a little you can also spray a lot beautiful atomizers on isimiyake so props to them for creating good looking bottles but sometimes they are a bit too chunky. I mean, this 125 ml, it looks more like a 200 ml big bottle compared to the 50 ml. So when I smelled it, everybody in that room, they liked it a lot. This fragrance reminds me of some certain fragrances, I'll tell you. But I couldn't remember that day. So the citruses, it's true. It's there. Beautiful citruses. I smelled it. I remember liking the opening top note a lot in one shop called Sandara. And I think uh, I was almost buying it because they had good discount going on on it but i later changed my mind because from my hand it disappeared within half an hour and that's the sole reason why i didn't get it uh, i understand performance and longevity is not everything is the composition and all that i can tell you yes that's not everything so you have to be a little bit more considerate this fragrance reminds me of a lot of perfumes okay first fragrance reminds me of ck2 okay it's not exactly the same but the conceptually the watery uh, the pebble note you know those those things with minus the rose this one reminds me of those it reminds me of Aqua de Parma's Colonia, perhaps, or some of those other ones, the blue bottles. It reminds me of that. It's very much like this uh, Italian style cologne, okay? The citruses remind me of that. And also the greenness, you know, it has the note of the cypress and pine. So beautiful greenness coming from it. But it also gives me a vibes of olive, you know, olive note, okay? Yeah, it's pretty uplifting. It's pretty uplifting. It's a little bit medicinal with the green. And it's very nice to wear. I was talking to you about Aqua de Parma's. I was talking to you about that uh, CK2 fragrance. It 
I smell this DNA kind of before, okay? So this is a very pleasant summer fragrance to be wearing, but you need to see, you see this much, much chunk missing in a less than a year or so. It means you need to have heavy spray. I think you need to spray at least eight to 10 times. I know it's a lot, but in our country, you have to do that to get performance out of it, if you can get. Sadly, uh, on my skin, when I tried it even at home, it did not last, okay? So it's it's uh, kind of fragrance. It's like an EDC sort of concentration, like, you know, those uh, 4711 house, and uh, their fragrances do not last that much. This is the same case. Perhaps if you if I wore more, maybe it would give me better performance over the time, but I don't think it's going to beat uh, the Aqua de Parma's uh, performance also, like they are similar ballpark. So uh, there's this, hmm, this is nice green tea note or something coming from it. I'm not seeing in a note breakdown. Perhaps it's the basil or something that's causing that effect. Maybe something like Bulgari's Purom Soir, you know, those kind of vibes. Mm. I, I, I like those things. So it's like being in a tea garden, you know, it's a kind of like being in the middle of the greenness, big uh, cedar woods, like, uh, like trees and some green tea, uh, you know, garden or tea garden. And also smelling a lot of like uh, lemon, Amalfi lemon, citruses, those kind of things. So it's not a totally new fragrance to me, but uh, it's a different deviation from original Lotus Sepurum. And it's a little bit a different change in pace if, you, if you're tired of the kiwi, watermelon, pineapple, those kind of uh, same old, same old thing, okay? It's a nice fragrance, okay? If you can score this, let's say, somewhere for very cheap, 35, 45 bucks, take it. That would be good. But anywhere above that, I think you, are, you can have better um, choices. But this one has that nice italian uh, cologne like eau sauvage it reminds me of eau sauvage in certain ways because of citruses so it's a good fragrance to have uh, reminds me lighter take on le bleu de say in a way they borrow some element in this one okay i have that still so overall my assessment for this fragrance i was gonna give it a six but because i like the smell a lot i'll give it a seven okay but performance is very uh subpar and keep that on mind do not blind by this try it you can Scored this for a good price, nice looking bottle, 125 ml juice. It's a win-win situation, but paying too much, paying retail especially, no go. Okay, thank you so much, Avik Bhai, once again for your bottles, and I hope these reviews will be beneficial. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.